Okay, hello there everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play of Let's Play The Oil Blue with me Chazzy Burger. Now, as you may be able to tell, I just got a new microphone. So uh, hopefully it's a good one. If not, well then we're kind of screwed because I just spent a lot of money on this so I want to make sure you guys can hear my dulcet Scottish tones. And uh, they're nice to listen to. It's not some rubbish headphone uh, based microphone like I had before. So hopefully this one sounds a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more bassy, a little bit more treble, you know, other sound things that I know nothing about. So I'm going to stop talking about them. Anyway, so the Oil Blue is kind of like a, uh, if you ever played Cook Serve Delicious, I think it's by the same guys who made that. So it's kind of like, um, basically a rapid fire clicking game where uh, you run an oil rig on some abandoned rock or on an abandoned oil rig after some sort of like global decline in oil production. So we're going to start a new day, which is going to be our first day actually. Because we're going to start a new save, so uh, yeah, we'll see how our first day goes. Hopefully uh, I can actually play this game and do commentary at the same time. Otherwise, that's, uh, that's pretty silly of me, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, we're at the, uh, the Deverlone facility, and we have to earn our licenses. Let's begin the tutorials. So yes, we're going to play the tutorials now. Uh, let's get this loaded up and ready to go. So, welcome to the Oil Blue. Let's take a quick tour of the menus. Use the tabs in the bottom of the screen to move the tutorial back and forward. Next. Now, I've all, obviously, I've already played this. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing this very, very quickly. Because, uh, I mean, if you want to look at it, you know, that's fine. Uh, you can pause the video if you like. Uh, but I've already played all this, so I already know what I'm doing. Because I am a master at this game. I'm not actually... Actually, I think I'm relatively alright. You know, I'm nothing spectacular. But I'm certainly okay. Definitely not, uh, definitely not the best of them. So, let's the ground well. There we are. Let's set it to high speed. Yep. Yep, we get this. So we need to give it some power. And now you can see here that this is all based on fu a fuel cell system. Yes, yes, I've assigned it already. Uh, I hate tutorials in the game, especially when it's like forcing you to do it. But uh, hey, you know what? You can't, you can't help it. They can't help it. They gotta make sure that people know how to play the game. And I mean, I already do. But uh... all right, we have another thing of oil. We should lose power. If uh... so, yeah, basically, it's telling us if we lose power, if there's no cells running, and there's oil being produced. The oil produced will rapidly fall. Uh, if it's already been produced, like it's gone up to one barrel, that's fine. The ground well is a really, really good way of like uh, just producing oil without really having to monitor it, especially when it gets to higher levels and the cells start off with quite a nice amount of charge. Okay, so let's uh, let's do some repairing here. Okay, so this is fun. So we've got to catch this bolt in here. And that one's that one. Okay, so then that one. And then that one. And then that one. Hey, we repaired it. You know, you've got to get the bolt across the way. There, it's all... Everything in this game is either based on clicking or using the arrow keys. There we are. Managed to fix it there. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so now this is the harder one. Yep, too a bit too early. You gotta get it before that red one there. There we are. Fixed. See, I told you I was good at this game. I can do commentary and think about things a lot uh, at the same time. So go me. So let's get to the oil, Derek. Uh, this is where we get the control panels, blah, blah, blah. Pressure gauge, uh, how filled your tank is. Let's start up the drill. So every machine other than the ground well really has a start-up time. So you know it needs a little bit of time to boot up the drill. What a great evening for drilling. Yes it is, I've just come off work and I've sort of thought to myself, hmm, this new microphone's just come. Might as well do a bit of recording. And in fact I don't think I can even have to burp. Because before I would burp and uh, you guys could all hear that, it was really disgusting. Uh, but now I'm not sure you can even hear it, even with the gain as high as it is. So I'm hoping that this uh, the sound quality is actually quite nice. Uh, if it's not, then I'm going to be relatively tricked. Uh, but, you know, I've just got to play around with the settings a bit more. You know, this is my first time properly recording with a microphone. You know, I have been doing a few things on Skype with some of my friends and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So, basically, the thing with uh, the oil derrick, which I'm pretty sure this one is, is it's all based on uh, the speed of the drill and pumping oil here. So. Right now they turn off pressure because it's a tutorial and you know, it'll be a lot to think about. Usually you've got to be like, uh, thinking about where the drill's going, about their pressure, about other things, that sort of thing. So right now we're just drilling for oil. 
Uh, the only problem is with the old Zerg, it's very, very slow to get around, so it takes a long time to switch your bearings. Which is a little bit irritating, but hey, you know, that's fine. It comes with the territory. There we are. Let's pump that oil. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's find out when the oil thing is completely full. We've got to transfer it. Some of the equipment, when it's being transferred, it doesn't stop the drill. For the oil derrick, it does. So if you have a ground well, then that can transfer oil while still dr uh, drilling for oil. The oil derrick is usually the one where you have to give it the most uh, babysitting. Yeah, definitely the one that has to have the most babysitting. The ground well, you can kind of just leave it on its own, and it'll be fine. Uh, and the ground well, it's all right. Yeah, no, the ground... The, I'm thinking of it like, is it an oil pump? No, it's a pump jack, that's what it is. So the ground well is the one we showed first with the cells. And the uh, the, the pump jack is the one they're going to show us next. Which is quite an interesting one. It's like it's all based around drops, which happen every uh, 30 seconds or so. So let's just halt the machine. There we are, you can shut it down. And that's the most complex machine in the game, surprisingly. They start you off with that. So, oh, there's an option to skip the tutorials. I didn't even realise that. Wow, I am an idiot. See, this is why you should think about things. So we've actually ranked up. Now that I know we can skip the tutorials, I feel very, very silly. But uh, I'll just show you the ground well in action, or the uh, the pump jack in action. So we've already seen the oil derrick and the ground wells. Uh, you'll see the pump jack in a second. I think we have two of them on the starter island, so you know, you'll know we be seeing a lot of them. Even though they're every 30 seconds, you will be seeing quite a bit of them. So let's start our first day in the oil blue. Let's go. Oh no, we only have one ground well and one oil derrick. So this is actually going to be a very uh, low-paced beginning. Which I'm completely fine with, you know, I want to I wanna be able to relax in, you know, get in the swing of things a wee bit. So let's begin our work day. Day one. Going to be a little bit boring, you know, only having two machines. Okay, we'll skip the zero hour because we won't have any oil. So let's go to the oil drills. Let's, uh, first of all, we'll start up our oil derrick. And then we'll get our pump jack or our ground well working. We'll set that to speed three. We'll keep two cells online. We'll keep one. Oh, uh, well, actually, that's on 100. So we'll just get all cells online. We'll bump up to speed three. Because uh, we might as well, because otherwise all the cells are being not being utilized. This is our oil, Derek. It's starting to, starting to drill now. The problem is with all machines is they do take stress damage over time. Other than the ground well. The ground well can run for as long as you want. As long as you can supply it with power. Speaking of which, yeah, it's fine. The cells are all right. Let's have a look at the visibility lines. You've got to release the pressure there. You know, feeling the pressure now. I've got to be thinking about a lot of things at the moment. Let's have a look. No pockets of oil left yet. You can see our visibility line isn't that uh, that far away from where our drill is. So you know, you've got to be really quick about when you uh, when you change with things. Okay, if there's nothing there, nope, there isn't. Let's switch off that cell there. Let's release the pressure. There we are. There, found some oil. Mm -mm -mm. Let's start our first drilling of the day. So I'm just going to slowly catch up to it. Pump the oil. When you're pumping the oil, the pressure does increase rather rapidly. And now that we've done that, let's start it up. Shift it to the left again. Oh, never mind. So we'll slow it down, shift it to the right. We've leveled up. Fantastic. What have we leveled up? Probably the ground well, to be honest. Yep, ground well is now level two. Let's have a look at that. Forgot to release the pressure. There we are. This is the thing you can't... Oh, okay, slow down. That's a lot of oil together. Oh yeah, baby. That is what we want. We want lots of oil. Give me that oil. Drill baby drill, as Sarah Palin is so fond of saying. So, uh, right, let's turn off these cells here. The, uh, the ground well's doing fairly well for itself, you know, it's creating quite a bit of oil. How many oil barrels has it produced so far? Uh, it's actually only produced one, so, uh, ignore what I'm just saying. Let's, uh, let's keep going. So, the, uh, the oil derrick usually produces, I think it's five barrels of oil when it's done and you finish the transfer. Okay, let's check the visibility. Nothing there. Let's charge up these cells here. We'll turn off cell one. Let's just keep going. The problem with your machines, they're quite uh, low experience levels, or I think it's more your cruise experience levels with them. Uh, when they're quite low, you know, you don't really make oil that fast. And you can't really upgrade anything until, uh, until you get to a certain point of experience. So, you know, you're not really making that much money. Right, let's, uh, let's level this up. So we've actually uh, got a new level of uh, speed on our ground well, which is quite nice. You know, it's nice to have a fast ground well. Um, certainly, I'm not against it, put it that way. Because, you know, ground wells, I always find ground wells, especially if you have two of them or quite a few of them. Okay, so our little derrick here is getting rather damaged. So we're going to shift that to the side a wee bit. Uh, okay, so our ground well is actually going to run out of power because we've used our cells too much. 
Let's release the pressure there. Our stress levels are mounting, so we're going to halt that machine for the day. We've lost all the oil that was in there. Let's go back up and repair our uh, our uh, oil derrick. So, you know, when you uh, stop for the day, usually your machines require repairing. So the misaligned pin here. We've got to use the arrow keys to keep the, uh, the dot inside this circle here. And, you know, the dot changes around its, uh, its motion. So we've repaired that machine. Don't know how much longer we have left in the day, to be perfectly honest. Our cells are recharging at an incredibly slow rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them recharge for a wee bit. We'll get uh, to our last hour or so, maybe. We probably could have pushed the oil derrick a little bit more, but I wasn't feeling particularly confident about that, to be perfectly honest. Um, I mean, you never really know what's going to happen. What I might do is I might increase the... Uh, right now I'm playing on a window and it kind of rubbishy looking. I mean, you guys can probably tell, it doesn't look the best just now, and it's actually rather hard to see at this resolution. So, I'm going to put all the cells on, hopefully they don't run out of power before that oil is produced. Otherwise, I'm going to be feeling pretty silly, and it looks like they are going to run out of power. So let's, uh, let's set the speed to 2 for now. And what we'll do is we'll turn off 2 of the cells, and leave 1 cell to, uh, to drain away, and we'll try and recharge the cells as much as we can. So let's turn on cell 3 now, turn off cell 1, or cell 2 rather, so that's going to drain. And you know, if we just keep piggying, piggybacking it like this, we will eventually be able to get some of our cells charged. Although, again, as I said, because it's a really low level, the higher level your ground well gets, the faster it recharges its cells. So right now we're kind of at an energy deficit, we're not getting as much energy back, we've got one hour before markets close. So yeah, it's, I don't know, it's going alright. I'm not gonna lie, you know, we're doing okay. We've made, what, three barrels of oil today? Market price has gone up by quite a bit. Only by four dollars, though. So I don't really think it's the time to sell yet. Let's boost the speed up a bit. Just so we can make as much oil as we can in this last hour. Uh, cells are all gonna die, so let's just boost, let's just get the power back down. We'll just leave the cells to recharge for the day. Let's have a little look at our thing. So we've, uh, the amount of lost oil, charge rate for cells has increased. That would have been really useful beforehand, but never mind. What we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on the price of oil just now. Oh, look at that. It's skyrocketing. I am fairly happy with that. It's not at the record high. But it is up from yesterday. So we would be able to make a tidy profit. You see, the, the price of oil does uh, kind of fluctuate rather quickly. So, right. We're going to put the ground wheel on again. We're going to put on all the cells. We're going to put it on to the highest speed as possible. Uh, actually, we're going to turn two of the cells off. We'll just leave them to recharge as much as possible as we can with only having one cell online. Okay, so that's the end of the day. Let's just put all the cells on. Highest production speed. Let's see if we can uh, can't keep this baby going until we can produce a bit of oil. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you, ground well. Not pump jack, ground well. I mean, the bad thing about this is trying to squeeze in every little bit of oil at the very end of the day is the fact that... Uh, yeah, our cells aren't going to really recharge. Ah, damn it. We are so close. We are so close. I hate the day is complete. We don't have much money. But, uh... Whoops. My bad. We got fi we got $50 for it, so it's alright. We've only got to sell 16 barrels as well in this first island. So I think this is going to be our first episode. It's just kind of like me playing the tutorial that I could have skipped. And playing this very first island of ours. That we are that we're starting it and once we get past this island you know you might be thinking oh this is kind of boring to watch you know he said this was all all actiony and stuff no it's not there's barely anything happening that's because we only have two machines uh where i'd gotten on my other ah look at that the ch cells are barely charged at all tell you what we're just gonna leave we're gonna put the ground well on get it on speed three but we're just gonna concentrate on the derrick for a while leave those cells to recharge for a bit Okay, so this is a Derek going. Let's go. Almost level 2. I've always found that Derek does advance in level very, very slowly. Uh, in, um... In comparison to the ground well. I'm not sure why that is. Let's just release that pressure there. Nothing come... Oh, there we are. Something's coming up on the visibility line. I was like, oh, nothing's coming up on the visibility line. And as I say, a bit of oil just comes up. So we'll release the pressure there. We're going to turn on two of the cells. So we can start the uh, the ground well working. Oh, let's slow that down. Let's bring this baby across. See, you've got to keep your eye on the ball at all times. You can't even take your eye off it for a second. Otherwise, you're going to miss some oil. Ah, okay. So we're almost full. So we're, I don't think we're going to get exactly the, uh, 
the amount of oil that we want from this oil here. So our oil derrick has, you know, finished and we're going to transfer that oil away. This cell is at 70, so we're going to put that on. Turn off cell 1. Let's have a look at the price. It's about the same as it was before. Tell you what, we're going to make quite a bit of money. We're going to sell three barrels. We've lost a little bit from uh, when it closed, but it was just before the market share dropped in oil. You know, I kind of like these games where it's like you've almost got to think of it as like share prices and stuff like that. I'm not sure why. I've always kind of thought the stock exchange would be a rather fun thing to do. Uh, or maybe it's just because I quite... I, I really enjoy economic games, you know, where it's all about supply and demand and stuff. I don't think you can influence supply and demand by, like, say, selling a lot of oil so the price crashes. Though that might be the case. It seems to be entirely random. Almost. Oh, so our ground oil is leveled up, so we've got now got a cell on 100. Uh, battery power, because we now have four cells. Charge rate for cells has increased. Your maximum speed of production increased by one. So let's boost this up to number four production speed. This, uh, this machine is still transferring oil. That is taking a long, long time. A lot longer than I want it to, put it that way. Okay, we're going to turn on cell 1, so we have cell 1 and 4 going at the same time. Level 4 production, so you know... We're going to produce, be producing quite a bit of oil. Come on, transfer. I need more things to talk about, that's the thing. I'm getting too much... I never thought I would get downtime in this game, but yet here I am. You know, complaining about downtime. This is not what it's going to be like later on. Later on, I'm going to be like, God, remember that downtime? Oh, that was nice. Can we have more of that, please? But here I am complaining. Ah. Uh, well, it's fine. We produce two bits of oil. Or two oil barrels from a ground well. We're going to produce five from our uh, oil derrick. And that's going to be quite a bit of oil. My only problem is... There we are. Let's start off this drill again. Price has gone up a tad. Not a lot, though. I think I might hold on to those bits of oil. How much oil do we have? We've got 7 out of 15 storage. Okay, so those cells have just come offline. Oops. Let's release that pressure. Still no uh, still no oil pockets found for the oil, Derek. There we are. There's one. I always like to slow down much, much ahead of time. Makes the pressure and the stress ramp up a lot, so it's probably not the best idea. But it's a lot easier to get in position beforehand than you can just kind of start the drill, get on down, release the pressure as soon as you can. And hey presto, Bob's your uncle. Let's start the drill again. Let's have a look at ourselves. Yeah, they're fine. We'll put on all four of them. We might as well. We're reaching to the end of the thing. Ground well's gone up. Uh, the amount of oil lost when your cells are off has gone down. So we're going to turn off cell one and cell four. See what I mean about babysitting? It takes a lot of babysitting to do everything. It's only two machines as well. Imagine when we have ground wells, you know, coming down every 30 seconds. Oh boy, it's going to get hectic. It's going to get very hectic. You're going to notice my commentary gets a lot, lot worse as time goes on. So sorry about that, folks. Okay, so we found another oil pocket here. Fantastic. Let's get let's get that baby drilled. Get that baby drilled. I should really play Fate of the World, World as well. That was where my main strategy was. Uh, drill, baby, drill, and uh, squirt, baby, squirt. Uh, strategy I devised my friends when they came over to stay one time. Uh, which was basically, take a leaf out of uh, Sarah Palin's book and just drill constantly for oil. And for some reason, it made the world's economy better. Well, I say for some reason, of course it did. Because the price of oil dropped because there was what, more oil in the fucking uh, system. Didn't mean to swear there, but I did. Ha ha. Ho ho. You know, th this is this is where the stress is getting to me. You know, I'm not even thinking really what's coming out of my mouth. I'm just like, oh god, I've got to get something done. Right, okay, so we're going to sell a few barrels of oil. We've got nine barrels. Let's sell five so we can get 600 odd profit. Uh, maybe should have held on to them. I tell you what, we're just going to turn our ground well off for the day. Because I want to let those cells recharge a bit. I mean, there's no point kind of doing it willy-nilly. Let's repair our oil, Derek, just in the meantime. Oh, it's a very difficult one. So, we got to keep the, these two down. Oh, we got to keep... Wow, this is a tough one. Okay, so i got to... Wow, this is a really weird one. So I've got to go up like that, and then put that down. Like that, and then like that. Hey, I did it! Wow, okay, so you couldn't see that on your end, but that was quite the feat of uh, spider hands. Right there, I'm not going to lie. We have sold uh, 8 of the 16 barrels that we need to sell. I think we've only got one day left, which is slightly... Uh, slightly annoying. Tell you what, we're just going to sell four barrels. We're not going to make very much money off them, but at least this way, you know, we're kind of a bit closer to our goal. 
yeah, we only needed a four barrel, so we'll just have the ground well working at a pretty all right speed all day, you know, drain those things. Our workers have had uh, quite a nice meal today, which is quite nice for them, you know, I feel always pretty good about that. We're now a train servant, so we've ranked up, so we can bring the total amount of machines we can control an island to three, fantastic. Uh, we've obtained our B license, so we can take control of pump jacks and learn more about the game. Uh, we've now got 70% chance of finding ground wells, 20% for oil derricks, 10% for pump jacks, and 0% for rigs. I really do like rigs. Rigs are very good. There we are, so now we can control drilling rigs. And that's it. And so we've only got one day left. We've sold 12 barrels. This is us going into the tutorial now. Yep, let's just skip you. It's fine. We've er earned some money by skipping the tutorial, because I already knew it. You can find out in a second. So we've got 50% chance of finding ground wells, 25% chance for oil derricks, 15% for pump, jack pump jacks, and 10% for rigs. So yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, look, another tutorial. Let's skip that. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I want you to be able to see me working at it and floundering away. So we've got 20 seconds added to the zero hour. That doesn't seem like a nice reward. You're like, oh, why would you want more seconds than zero hour? That doesn't make sense. You can't sell oil there. You can't do anything. Well, the reason why we haven't been using the zero hour is because we've had enough time uh, on the day before to repair our machines. Because we only have two machines. We'll have to worry about them too. Nothing else really to worry about other than them. But if you have, say, five machines, you can't repair all of them. You've got to be taking care of the other ones. So uh, let's skip the zero hour. We'll get the oil derrick up and running as soon as we go to the oil drills like that. There we go. That's precious seconds lost. Let's get all the cells going and let's set a very high speed, blistering pace for the ground well. Let's go. See, we're draining power pretty quickly, but we're going to produce quite a bit of oil. We've got two barrels in the tank right now of our uh, oil derrick. The nice thing is the game does count any oil you have inside your machines. It sells them off as well. It's like for some reason you can't harvest them, but don't don't question it. Let's have a look at this visibility then. No, nothing there. Let's release the pressure, go back to the ground well. Let's uh, let's set the pace back to num number four. Still nothing on the visibility line. Aha, there we are. There's the gold. There's the black gold right there. Let's go and mine that. Mm -mm -mm. There we are, release the pressure. Okay, so these cells are pretty like, run down. So we'll increase the power they're getting. Oh, another pocket of oil. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's release that pressure there. Start up. Slow it down, pump that oil. We'll get over to the right for in a second to grab that oil there. Release the pressure. Boom, boom, boom. You can see it's getting a little bit hectic. I've only got two machines. I can't even complain about it being hectic yet. Just you wait until it's like, I don't even have a chance to think when I'm playing this game properly. Because you're just too busy, like, oh, okay, I've got to release the pressure here, I've got to go over here, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. You know, it's not really the, probably the best game to let's play, but hey, I like a challenge, what can I say? Okay, so let's uh, let's go drill this oil here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Release that pressure. We've actually got quite a bit of oil now. Let's turn on all these cells, bring these over. We've made two barrels of oil, and we have four barrels inside this machine here. So we're definitely going to meet our goal, which I'm rather happy about. You know, better than not meeting our goal, put it that way. I don't even know what happens if you don't meet your goal. Do you get, like, kicked out? you have to restart that mission? I have no idea. I don't really want to find out. Oh, there's a thing of oil, so we're going to slow down. How's our ground well cells doing? Fine, fine, fine. Don't really want the, uh, the ground well cells to be able to make it up to 100. If you do, in my opinion, that's wasted uh, energy you could have been using. Your other cells wouldn't have to be as, uh, as depleted as they were. So let's swap that over. I'll tell you what, we're going to set the speed a bit higher. Set up to number five because we got an upgrade there that increased our charging speed. We got two barrels in storage. That's a massive price gain right there. Have you seen that price gain since this level up goes away? Brown well, yep. Charge rate for sales gone up. 59 above what it was yesterday. 59, 61. It's almost at the maximum price of 200. Now would be the time to sell, sell, sell. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep, it's 200. There's no point not selling now. You know, you might be like, oh, but what about the massive cash thing? As I said, I don't think supply and demand really affects the price. But hey, it's a record high at close. It's a record high. And in the end, that's all I care about. Transferring oil. It's going to take a while. We're going to get five barrels out of it. These cells are still getting pretty depleted. I'll tell you what, we're going to put that up to six, because we seem to be uh, doing rather well on the cell front. You know, might as well keep those cell that cell number high. We'll probably get an upgrade soon. That means that we can upgrade our uh, our uh, thingy again, our ground well. 
Anyway, I'm only selling barrels of oil. How do you mean my commentary's gotten this bad? All I'm doing is selling oil. It doesn't take that much thought process. Come on. You call yourself a Let's Player, Chaz. Jeez. Oh yeah, I hope everybody's been having a nice time. You know, I know I've been uh, kind of dilly-dallying from where I've my original roots were, which is Dominions 4, and I feel pretty bad about that, you know. I haven't made a Dominions 4 video in what? Must be like a month now or something? It's been a very, very long time, and I do feel pretty bad about it. Uh, right now, I am, to be I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm finding the motivation to re-go over a 25-minute episode of Dominions 4 where I don't even know what I'm doing in it because, you know, it's been so long since I've played it, uh, that episode in particular. You know, because I, I'm, I think I recorded that one in June. And then I realized my microphone wasn't working at the time, and I was like, oh no, I can't be bothered. So I just, I've kind of like, kept off doing it, kept off doing it. And I really should, because I do enjoy Dominions, and it's just, it's almost like I don't even feel like I want to play Dominions, because I feel like I should be recording it, and then I don't record it, because I, I'm just like, oh, you know, I've got other things to do, I've got to think about work and stuff like that. But no, I'm going to sit down, uh, next time I'm off, I'm going to sit down and just tell myself, nah, you're playing Dominions. I don't care about anything else. You're playing Dominions. You know, you don't get a choice in this matter, bucko. Right, let's see if we can grab this oil on the right here. But yeah, we're going to sit down. I'm going to record that episode. It's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to love it. We're going to finish off that tutorial game, because that game shouldn't have taken as long as it has. Let's, uh, let's halt this machine, because, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was almost breaking there. Let's see what the price is. Still record highs, so let's just sell all our barrels. Might as well. Don't even need to repair that because it's our last day. Let's get the pump jack working, or the ground well working. Highest speed, all cells ago. Let's see if we can't make one more barrel of oil before the day ends. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll even level up. I hope so. It'd be nice if we leveled up. Because then we'd be able to get some more cells. You can see how fast the power really drains when you've got, like, even with four cells and speed eight. I'm not sure if the uh, the certain speeds have differing levels of power consumption. They probably do. Ah, there we are. Some more cells. Fantastic. And another, uh, some more speed. So we're up to speed ten now with six cells. We've only got two of them working at the moment. So, uh, yeah. We'll just leave those other cells to charge for a wee while, get it up to the maximum speed, produce as much oil as we can. Can we get it in the last seconds? Put all the cells on. Doesn't speed it up, but we might as well. Oh, here we go. Yes! Another, no, another little bit of oil to fill our coffers. Mm -mm -mm. Let's sell those barrels. Yes, baby. We probably made quite a bit of money. Probably the most profit we've made this entire time. Just from the fact that the market swung in our favour at the last minute to make ba uh, oil barrels 200 a, 200 a pop. Because, I mean, you don't really think about it. Ah, okay, so we, we lost a bit of money because one of our machines was damaged. All right. You know, it cost a little bit of money there to feed our people. All right. We sold an extra barrel for uh, for 200. That's pretty good. So when it was ranked up. Transfer speed and oil oil machines has been permanently increased. That's really good. That's a really nice upgrade there. Okay, so now we have shifted our equipment, you know, percentages. That's the thing, with all of the islands in the game, you know, it's all based on percentages rather than anything else. Uh, you know, it's basically just by chance what machines you get. You can't change your machines once you get there, at least I don't think you can. We've now got four machines on an island, you know, transfer speed has been again been increased, so that's really good. Because, I mean, if your transfer is fast, it means you can get a lot of oil out very, very quickly. We sold 26 barrels of oil. Let's continue to our next island. We've got 230 in daily royalties, so you get a certain amount of royalties per day from all the islands you completed before. And you know, eventually they will, uh, they'll probably outweigh your crew costs. Because you got, I mean, you got to feed your crew every day, it's a money sink, you know, it's one of the ways they kind of balance the game almost. Um, and yeah, so when we come back next time, we're going to have two ground wells, we're going to have one oil derrick, we're going to have a pump jack, we're going to sell 80 barrels in 6 days. I've been Chazzy Burger. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Let's Play the Oil Blue. You know, or the Blue Oil. Is it Blue Oil or Oil Blue? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a game I'm playing. I should really know that. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like. Give it, Maybe subscribe if this is your first time watching it and you want to see me whittle on while I play silly, silly games. Uh, but yeah, I, I really hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Until next time, goodbye.